Hi, I'm Stacy Campbell, and I'm the executive race director of the Humana Rock and Roll Las Vegas Marathon and Half Marathon. Hi, I'm Nicole Kyleman, and I'm the regional marketing manager of the Humana Rock and Roll Las Vegas Marathon and Half Marathon. Uh, what we're able to do in Las Vegas is something that no other event company is able to do. Um, we, it is, you know, our biggest event. Um, and I think the, the reason we call it our flagship is because we're essentially taking you know, a rock and roll event, which is already the best organized races in the world, and we're kind of putting it on steroids. We're turning the city into, you know, it's, it's four runners. And when the rock and roll race comes to Vegas, you can see how the city transforms. You know, the, their, the restaurants are open later um, to accommodate, you know, finishing the race at 10 o'clock. We have nightclubs that are opening their doors for people to come in wearing their running clothes. So it really, it, it's become our flagship event because of what we're able to do here. And again, it's not, it's more than just a race, honestly. It really has become kind of a weekend festival and that, that makes it different than what the other, you know, events are doing. So we have a three-day health and fitness expo. Um, we have the, the longest expo in all of our events because we have so many people coming to the city. Uh, we have a, a race on Saturday, it's our 5K. It's a perfect place for people to sh do a shakeout run. This year, we've actually moved our headline concert to Saturday night. Um, it gives it a little bit more of that weekend kind of festival feel. And a Sunday, the race starts at 4.30, and the, um, and the last finish will cross around 10 p.m. As you can imagine, shutting down the Strip um, takes quite a bit of uh, work and making sure we have the right uh, relationships in place. So we work with, obviously, all the hotels and casinos, um, literally all of them, to make sure that we're on the same page about what's happening with the road closures and shutting down the Strip and making sure that they feel really good about what we're doing and you know that we're not negatively impacting their business. Um, and this is a really positive um, local community event, um, even though we bring so many people in from out of town. Um, we obviously work with the county, with the city, um, very closely with Metro, because it's important that everything is safe and secure. Um, we work with the downtown cas casinos and hotels. So it's really um, an entire community effort to make sure that this event um, happens the right way. We bring in about 200 staff and contractors from um, literally all over the world. We have people coming in from Europe, people coming in from Latin America to help us at this event. Obviously, most are here from um, coming from the States, but about 200 staff and contractors. And then volunteer-wise, we have over 2,000 volunteers. <laughs> um, most of those are local. Um, we have a volunteer a department of about four people that just year-round are recruiting volunteers for this event. Um, we use local community groups, we use students, um, we're looking at local businesses, we're going out to our partners and sponsors to see if they'd like to provide groups to help volunteer. Um, so it's a, it's a big effort, but um, you know, obviously it's really important that we have um, that many to help with an event of this size. So we have about 92% that come from out of the Las Vegas area, uh, which is it makes sense um, in some aspects. This is a destination, and you know people really view this as a bucket list, you know, experience. It also makes our job really, really difficult because we have to constantly find new people um, to come to this event every year. We have about 70% that are first timers to the Las Vegas event. Um, so our marketing strategy has to be really creative. You know, we don't necessarily rely on repeat runners, but we, we want to constantly, you know, every year we want to make the event better than the last year so that anybody who did run last year, they don't feel like been there, done that, right? They want to come back the next year. Um, but we also, ha we rely on, we have events all across the world. So we have people who are first timer to the Las Vegas event. They had a great time in Vegas. Now they want to go back and maybe do a rock and roll in their city. Or we have people who did a rock and roll in their city locally, they loved it, and now they want to experience the ultimate event, which is in Las Vegas, you know, towards the end of the year. Being a part of the community is really important um, in all of our events, but it's, it's especially important in Las Vegas because we do have such a high number of people that come from out of town, so it's important that people, you know, that the 
locals don't feel like we're coming in, you know, we put on this three-day event and then we leave. Um, so this year we're taking more steps than we have in the past to, to really make sure we're leaving a positive impact in the community. Uh, we have uh, Rock This Town, which is um, the, the rock and roll arm of the Iron Man Foundation. Um, and its goal is basically to create a positive impact in communities through volunteerism grants. Uh, and this year we have selected the uh, Las Vegas Resiliency Center and we've made a $10,000 donation um, towards, that, towards that organization um, because they, we feel they are, they are really fighting the fight for the victims um, of the 10-1 shooting.